Holy shit. Really? <coughs> That's one huge rock. <coughs> what the hell am I going to do with that? Break it? Mm hmm. Gonna have to. <laughs> being shipped, mined. You don't want that stuff in your aquarium, obviously. Not too shabby. Ooh, not too sure about the color of it. Be all right. It don't matter once it's covered in care for chlorine algae. That's the flat bottom. We know exactly where to cut it, you know, to support that overhang that we have. So let's do that. Coming this way with our eight inches, and that's basically about where I said, right in there. So we're just gonna make a little mark with a marker. Right around in there, eight inches. I'm just gonna hacksaw this nice and flat. Now we can put this on the bottom. It'll be our pillar, and it has that natural curve to it. green and the and the center gray as soon as you mix it it causes the chemical reaction mixes the two of them together and I'm just gonna put some on here and all the joints get your finger wet a little bit you can smash it down it doesn't stick to your finger as much And just look for the the joints. Trying to smash it in there as best you can with a rock pillar on it underneath it though to support it. We ain't gonna have no issues. Shouldn't have. The only problem is this stuff. It says it takes like a half hour to set up. It took longer than that. It's more like about an hour or so. What we just did was uh, epoxy this piece. It's going to be a, a vertical piece standing up so it's going to come over this way. We'll just do some uh, two part Got some joints going. We'll let her set up. And uh, it's going to come over here on the right side of the tank. So it's going to be a nice little overhang. It's just going to be just underneath the return lines. So it should work out good with some uh, Acroporia up on the top.
Chris Reefer coming back at you with the 75 build. Finally done messing around with the rocks and this is the final outcome that we have. Um, so we've got another 40 pounds in today so there's total probably a little over 80 pounds of rock in there. Try to, I didn't want the rock wall concept, everyone's done that. And this kind of just came together. Uh, we got a lot of flow throughout the whole tank. If you look at the whole structure all the way around, we're going to have a lot of nice flow around all the rock. A couple caves. Um, not too many, not too many points of that bottom of the rock touching the bottom of the aquarium, which is, you know, a main concern. You don't want to build up you know, detritus and stuff, but uh, you know with these Kessel lights I'm gonna have a whole lot of area up here on top for some SPS down the road as well as over here, but I wanted to try to give the tank some depth too. Um, I think we did a pretty good job. You know, maybe over here we can have, uh, you know, maybe some uh, some uh, button pop, you know, little garden over there maybe or some pulsing zinnias on that maybe some buttons over here on these little guys but uh, we're gonna do the back with some uh, green star polyps just along the, the back side of the overflow boxes I'm gonna start them down low and let them work their way up the top that way it gives a little more depth a little more color so that's it the next step is to uh, Go with some sand. I think I'm gonna go with some uh, some pink Fiji. Throw it in there, and uh, we're gonna get this tank cycling pretty soon. The pull lock out.